everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing to my channel. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews where I talk to you about what I've been doing in the world of sewing this week and what my plans are for the week ahead. So let's get going. So first of all let me start with what I'm wearing. So it's a beautiful day outside today so I am wearing my Hesty today which is the Tilly and the Buttons pattern which I made in this Lady McElroy fabric which I got in my So Hayley Jane box and it's a little cropped top and it's the trousers and I have got a photograph of me wearing it. I put this on today because I needed something cool and comfortable and this really fits the bill. I obviously did share that I am really don't like this part of it where it gapes which is a problem that I know lots of people have had with this pattern and I do plan on um, fixing this by just taking some of the um, width out of it so it sits more flat against my top um, but yeah really enjoying wearing this today and I think maybe once I f get this Fitbit right I will probably make another one I think so I'm also wearing my Ethel and Joan earrings that were a recent purchase from the um, festival of quilts that I went to last week and I have a vlog on everything that I purchased um, which I will link up above. So what have I been doing in the world of sewing? Well, I had an absolutely fantastic weekend last weekend. I, as I just mentioned, I went to the Festival of Quilts and I went there with a lovely Bex from What Bex Sews, Sally the Staffordshire Sewist and her partner Kerry, and also met, last minute met with Shannon from the Sewing Warehouse who I previously met, so Brum last year. Um, and wow, we just had such a fabulous time. Now, I'm not going to go on about it too much. I'll pop a little photograph in. But if you want to know the full day and what I purchased, because I did go mad, um, I'll put, the, as I said, I'll put the card up here and you can have a look at what I purchased at the Festival of Quilts and who we bumped into. We bumped into quite a few sewing celebrities, as I would call them, among them being Vic Vicky from this current series of The Sewing Bee and also um, the lovely Brogan, who is the Crafty Pie. So that was my weekend, so a pretty great weekend by all accounts. In respect of sewing last week, there wasn't loads of sewing that I did. I did put together my outfit last minute for the Festival of Quilts and it ended up being the Avenir jumpsuit. I did share in my last week's Friday sews that I was making this and I got it finished, you'll be pleased to know in time. And here is the finished article. It's a bit creased I'm afraid, but I've got a picture of me wearing it. So I wore this on Saturday and I absolutely loved it. I actually had three people stop me and ask me what pattern it was um, because they really, really liked it, which I thought was really nice. And this is the little label that I put in it from the stash because it was from my stash. <laughs> really, really happy with this. I made a, a size large because I think my last one was a medium and I've obviously put on weight since I made my last one. Um, and it fitted really comfortable. And it was just a perfect outfit to wear. Um, at the Festival of Quilts and this fabric was from Rainbow Fabrics as well um, who were there at the Festival of Quilts so it was nice to be able to be wearing someone's fabric. So that's all the sewing I really did last week to be honest with you. I have had quite a lot of catching up to do since my holiday and just getting back on track with things and I haven't haven't bothered filming an August plans vlog this month because to be honest with you I'm just taking it easy this month I'm just getting back into things sorting out my sewing room and just getting organized so I haven't bothered putting an August plans vlog out because I'm not putting any pressure on myself this month to make that much um and then starting from September I will start to plan my um autumn winter makes which is exciting so I'm already planning that vlog as we speak so that's um, the main bit of sewing that I did this week. I have got a pattern test that I'm doing, which obviously I can't share the details with you, um, but I'm really excited once I can to show you. I have pretty much nearly finished that and I'm making it in this fabric. So I've even put a little label in it that says creativity never goes out of style. And once I've actually finished and we can release the pattern, I will obviously share pictures on Instagram. But I'm really excited about this pattern. It's so good, let me tell you. The other thing that I've been working on slowly this week is my Ilma top by Named Patterns. Now, I got this fabric gifted to me by So Confident and it's a lovely viscose satin, it's so nice. And I'm in this paisley print and they've still got this in stock. And I've started to make the Ilma top, which is this kind of smock style top with these ruffled sleeves. And I've got to put 
the ruffle on the bottom but this is the dress version although I'm a bit worried it's going to come up a bit short but that's nearly finished I've just got to attach the straps trim off all the threads etc this isn't attached yet it's still got um still got pins on it and get this on um so that's coming underway and I'll probably finish that off this week but this fabric is gorgeous and she's got a few different these are dead stocks from Italy and they're just absolutely beautiful I just love the colors in this really beautiful transitional colors for summer into autumn and I, and I was thinking this could be worn into the autumn over a frayer top I um, mean maybe the cream or the navy and then it'll be a trans definite transitional piece there as well so I want to get that finished up to be honest it's been a time consuming sew because there's a lots of new techniques around putting the elastic in and the channels and these ruffles but I'm just taking my time on it and getting it done at my own pace that's all the sewing I've been doing this week. Um, what I'll talk to you about now is um, the plans that I've got for next week and some of the fabrics that I want to show you as well. So my plans for next week are to obviously finish that Ilma and also finish my pattern test that I'm doing, which I'm hoping to finish this weekend. The other thing I really want to get started is my 12 for the Dressmakers Ball. So the Dressmakers Ball is on the 23rd of September this year and I do not want to get caught out like I did last time where I was making it the night before I went <laughs> so I'm really keen to get my 12 done and I think I've finally decided on a design and a fabric so this was one of the options last year but I didn't choose it and um, I chose something else um, but couldn't get this out of my head so it's definitely going to be the thing that I'm going to go for this year and this is very easy vogue v9259 and it's this gorgeous wrap halter neck jumpsuit and I want to make this long version I'm not a lover of the cropped length on me because I'm short but I just love it's got a little peekaboo here and it just wraps up around the neck and it's got a zip at the back there's the line drawings now I've already cut out the um top part the bodice part because that's the bit that I want to fit first um and then I'll look at the trousers after it. and that's what I'm going to go with now I do have an idea that if I get this to fit right and it's not too complex to sew, which I don't think it will be, I've got this idea of having an overskirt that goes over it. Now, I've definitely got this off the sewing bee. So for those of you that haven't watched the sewing bee and don't want a spoiler, just switch off now um, for the next couple of minutes. So in the finale of the sewing bee, they had a chat. They had The final showstopper was a two in one so an outfit that turned into another outfit and I really loved that idea um and it's something I toyed at when I was getting married as well having an overskirt on my dress but decided against it but this is something that I think I'd really like to do so in my head I'm going to make this in the one fabric and then what I'd like to do is have a tall skirt um that goes around that either goes all the way around or um comes to like about here so you can still see the jumpsuit and then have the poof of the tool there and it'll just be on a belt with a clasp and at the start of the night when I'm obviously doing the catwalk and everything I'll have the skirt on and then towards the end of the night when I want to just dance and be comfortable I can take the skirt off and I just thought that'd be a really cool way of having that two-in-one outfit but obviously that might that's something that is going to be experimental I haven't got a pattern to follow for that I've watched a few tutorials on how to create a tall skirt and to be honest it doesn't look that difficult but you know it might be difficult so tall is quite inexpensive as well so I thought you know give it a go and see how I get on but, but I still have the jumpsuit if it doesn't go to plan so that is the pattern so let me know what you think it takes three and a half meters of fabric which wasn't too fabric hungry and yeah I'm excited to get going with it so now for the fabric so I did talk about this on last week's Friday sews but it wasn't actually here it got delivered um in the afternoon after I'd filmed my vlog so this was definitely inspired by the lovely Christine from Gemini Stitches she has her own YouTube channel if you don't already subscribe to her please check her out I'll put a link in the, my show notes but she shared this fabric on her vlog and it was from the sewing bee so another sewing bee um, inspiration and it was what um, I think was it Vicky no it wasn't it was Mia I think made her dress her vampire style dress in it and um, she basically shared Christine shared that this fabric was on Fabworks for 
for eight pound a meter which i thought was a bargain especially when you're buying four three and a half meters of fabric so i jumped over on that side and they had four meters left so i snapped it up and this is the fabric obviously it's leopard print which i love and it's on a purple background with gold um leopard print but then you turn it over it's double sided and it's a gold background with the purple leopard print so two ways that i can wear this and i'm not sure which side i'm decided on yet got to have a little think about it but that's that was really really nice and it's a lovely drapey fabric it's obviously got that satiny sheen to it and i think that will look lovely as a wrap and then lovely flowy legs so that's the plan and then the tool will probably either be in the bronze i'm thinking the bronzy color um to go over it what do you think excited so i've got this vision in my head now so i'm dead excited about it and um, yeah i can't wait to see what that will look like um, and hope my vision comes to fruition so i'm going to twirl the top i've cut the pieces out i'm just going to use a cotton fabric just to twirl it it's not going to be a wearable twirl it's just going to literally be a mock-up last year i did um just a mock-up in some bed sheets of the dress and that worked really well um you can just be very quick with it and not worry about your stitching and everything when it's not a wearable twirl and i, I find i really enjoy that process so yeah let me know what you think about my dressmaker ball um ideas are you going to the dressmakers ball if so what are you going to be making what are you going to be wearing um, I'm excited to hear everybody's plans. So that's that. Um, so that's a new fabric that I've shown you. I do have one more fabric to show you, which was one that was a complete impulse buy that I bought last week. Now, Little Miss So and So do a Friday live where she sh where Nicola shows all the fabric. And I'm usually pretty good. I try and watch it, not always live. And you know, I love to watch the fabrics, but I tend to be quite restrained and don't buy any. And because I knew I was going to the Festival of Quills, I've been particularly restrained recently however she showed this fabric and she'd forgotten that she'd ordered it and it was like at the bottom of this order that she'd ordered and she showed it wasn't even on the website yet and when she showed it i was just like oh my god i love it i've got to have it and this is the fabric it's a jersey and it's wonderlust safari xxl and it's by alb stoff and this is it oh <gasps> how wonderful is that I just love I love oranges I love navy and I just thought this was gorgeous I don't even know how many meters I've got I think I've got two and a half meters of this I have no idea what I'm going to make but I just had to have this fabric um so I even rang Nicola saying when's it going on the website because I need to get some and she was laughing at me saying that she doesn't know if she's going to put it up because she wants some for herself but yeah isn't it just gorgeous I think they still have some of this in stock yeah I mean it would look nice as a kilo wrap wouldn't it or a Sirocco, or any of those ones that I love. Or maybe an Avenir. I know you can make an Avenir jumpsuit in a jersey. So, yeah, really like that. Can't quite remember how much a metre that was. I think it might have been £14 a metre. I'm not sure. But, yeah, loved it. Had to have it. So that's all I've really got um, to show you this week. As I say, it's not a massively full week, um, but I hope to get some sewing done next week. And the good news is I am going to a sewing social on Saturday. It's Sally, the Staffordshire Sewers Social, which is in Penkeridge, which is half an hour away from me. I'm popping over there and hopefully Bex will be going as well. So it'd be nice to see her again and lots of lovely ladies that um, are regulars at that social. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to, to meet up with everybody again. I've not decided what I'm going to be taking there yet. I might finish off this pattern test. I'm not sure um, whether I'll get that finished today. I might take my twirl of my bodice for the dressmaker's ball, but I haven't decided. But yes, that's all for me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. And if you do, please click the like button. And if you don't subscribe already, please consider subscribing. And if you do want to support my channel further, I do have a Ko-fi account where you can buy me a virtual coffee. And any contributions are really appreciated. But please remember... You just being here and watching my channel is enough support for me. So thanks very much and I'll see you all soon. Happy sewing. Bye.